rock and roll, pop, jazz, country, classical. These are all genres of music that we're familiar with, even if we don't like to listen to them all. But today, I'd like to share with you a different kind of genre, a newer genre, called Time Lord Rock. Now, Belmont is obviously a very musical school, and I think it's beneficial that we learn about different genres of music, whether we're music majors or not. I personally found out about Time Lord Rock a few months ago, and I love listening to the music. And so today, I'd like to share with you a bit about what Time Lord Rock is, where it came from, and also what it sounds like. So first of all, what is Time Lord Rock anyway? Well, according to UrbanDictionary.com, Time Lord Rock is basically songs written about the British TV series Doctor Who. <laughs> I'm sure many of you have heard of Doctor Who, but maybe not all of you are familiar with exactly what it is. So I'm going to explain a little bit. Doctor Who is, as I said, a British TV series that started back in the 1960s. Um, it is about a Time Lord or an alien who travels in time, um, basically going to different worlds and saving them from catastrophic situations such as being destroyed, which is a good thing. Um, he does not have a name. He is simply known as the Doctor. It's the name of the show, Doctor Who. He typically travels with a companion, um, generally a human from Earth, and also he, he travels in a TARDIS, that's the name of his spaceship. And this is what the TARDIS looks like. It's disguised yeah. as a blue police box, and it's actually much bigger on the inside than it is on the outside. And if you notice on my previous slide, I had the word TARDIS all capitalized, and the reason is it's an acronym, which stands for Time and Relative Dimension in Space. So that's the TARDIS. One more thing you should know about Doctor Who is that he never dies. He regenerates. According to Nitro9.Earth, uh, the idea for Doctor Who's regeneration started back in the 60s when the original Doctor, played by William Hartnell, decided to leave the show. So instead of ending the program, they decided to draw on his alien abilities and um, have him form a new body. And so basically what happens now is whenever he has a near-death experience, um, he simply regenerates or he forms a new body. His personality changes slightly, but he's still essentially the same doctor. And so that's how they decided to transition from the original doctor, William Hartnell, to the second doctor, Patrick Troughton. So now you have an idea of what Time Lord Rock is, let me show you where it came from. Time Lord Rock was created by a young man named Alex Day. He's a little bit older than we are, and according to his website, alexdaymusic.com, he is a YouTuber and a musician from Essex, England. He came up with the idea for Time Lord Rock, or Troc, as he shortened it, um, because he was inspired by Wizard Rock, or music, fan music about Harry Potter. And so he decided it would be cool to come up with fan music about a show he loved, Doctor Who. So he got together with a friend of his, Charlie McDonald, who wrote the first truck song entitled Blink, which is named after one of the episodes called Blink. Um, the two of them, Alex and Charlie, got together with a couple of their friends and decided to form the band Chameleon Circuit. Which brings me to my third point, what does it sound like? So the instruments that Chameleon Circuit uses are pretty typical instruments, the guitar, keyboard, of course vocals, a lot of electronic sounds to make it sound all sci-fi-ish, and also the melodica. Now the melodica is a pretty interesting instrument. Um, it's actually relatively small. Um, you blow through one end of it and you play the keys with your fingers. It kind of resembles a miniature piano, so that creates a pretty cool sound. At this point, I'd like to play for you a small sample of one of their songs called Regenerate Me, and I got this sample from Charlie's website, charliemcdonald.com. That was only a short sample. I want to explain a little bit about the lyrics. Um, what you just heard was Regenerate Me, and it was talking about, obviously, the Doctor's regeneration. The songs are the cover of a variety of different topics uh, within the series Doctor Who. Um, that was obviously about his regeneration, but there's also songs about um, his companions, or the TARDIS, or all different sorts. Um, like I had mentioned earlier, the first song was called Blink, which is based on the episode. 
and um, the episode Blink is about the Weeping Angels. Now, Weeping Angels are garden statue angels that move every time you blink your eyes. And they're trying to overtake the TARDIS, which, if that happens, then, you know, bad stuff is going to happen. And so the lyrics to the song Blink, which I got from lyricsreg.com, is just look directly at them and they'll stay where they are. I think they're crying anyway. They can't mean no harm. My eyes are watering. I'm right on the brink. I'm sure nothing would happen if I were to... And the song goes on from there. So in conclusion, I told you about what Time Lord Rock is, where it came from, and also what it sounds like. As Charlie McDonald said on one of his YouTube videos, which he entitled Still Got Legs, he explained that the goal of his band Chameleon Circuit was to produce the best music that they could, so that way you didn't have to be a Doctor Who fan to like the music. And so I hope that you will take the time to check out this music genre, whether you're a Doctor Who fan or not, whether you're a music major or not, but just take the time to check out this different genre called Time Lord Rock.